Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hemingway, uh, it is Pastor Chris coming to you during our Lenten season. And in this particular week, folks will be dealing with either grant journaling and or, and or gratitude. I'm going to be dealing with gratitude. And, and with that, uh, I want to read a scripture. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 uh, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Uh, pray with me. Dear Father God, have your will and have your way, dear Father God. As uh, we look at the topic of being grateful. Amen, amen, amen. When we look at this particular text and we consider our fast and we consider the time frame by which we are uh, going to God in prayer and uh, we are uh, in a situation that we're trusting to draw closer to God, I want us to key in on uh, verse six. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition. So we don't need to be worried. We don't need to be stressed out. It does not matter what the situation is. Uh, we just need to be ready to know that whatever the situation is, that we can go to our God in prayer. That's right. Regardless of the situation, we don't need to worry, but we can go to God in prayer. And we need to have our prayers asking, uh, uh, beseeching God to hear from us and presenting our petition. But there are two words that are tucked in before it says, present your request to God. And what are those two words? It said, with thanksgiving. That's right. With gratitude. We got to understand that we can't just come to God any old type of way. We need to be able to come to God and give God gratitude even in our prayers. That's right. We need to be able to be grateful for what we already have. I know you got a list of what you want. I know you have things that you would desire, but you need to have some gratitude for what's already working out. If you look around your life, you'll see there's some things that are already going your way. I, I know you may not have the new job yet. You may not have the new home, the new vehicle. I, I know you may not have the new boo. I don't know what it is that you're looking for. Maybe you're still trusting God for significant things like a miracle, like a breakthrough, like a healing. But look at what you still do have because we all have something, my God. And God is just saying, uh, you got me. And I love you. You have my love. I, I, I know they may have left you, but you have my love. I, I know they talk about you, but I tell you that you are my child. I tell you that I'm going to give you a future. I'm not going to harm you. I, I, I tell you that you're my beloved. And, and so with that, we, I, I tell you that I've given you my forgiveness. And we got to be grateful for what God has already given us. He's given us grace. He's given us mercy. He's given us loving kindness. He's given us favor. He's even given us long suffering. And sometimes it's the long suffering that brings ingratitude instead of gratitude. But we got to understand that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord are called according to his purposes. But we got to understand that when we can have those two words with thanksgiving packaged in uh, not worrying, bringing uh, uh, our prayers and petition regardless of the situation, but doing it in a grateful and a, a, a way of giving thanks. Then when we present our request, God says, in the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, not some, not a few, but all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I tell you that your peace is right on the other side of your gratitude. I tell you, your peace is right on the other side of your thank you, Jesus. Get a thank you, Holy Spirit, and watch God move in your life and through your life. It's your gratitude that will indeed make the difference. I'm Pastor Chris Natison, and I hope that you were blessed. May the Lord touch you, keep you, watch over you, and, and help you as you sojourn through this fast, trusting in God and giving God all that you have and giving it to him gratefully. Praise be unto God.